Hello everyone. Today our topic in process synchronization is a critical section and Peterson solution. Consider a system consisting of n processes B0 through Bn minus 1. Each process has a segment of code called the critical section in which the process may be changing common variables, updating a table, writing a file, and so on. So we are considering here only cooperating processes. For independent processes, we do not need any kind of synchronization. The critical section is a code segment that can be accessed by only one process at a time. The critical section contains shared variables which need to be synchronized to maintain consistency of data variables. The important feature of the system is that when one process is executing in its critical section, no other process is allowed to execute in its critical section. That is, no two processes are executing in their critical sections at the same time. Any critical section has the following four components. Entry section, the critical section itself, which contains the shared variables, exit section, and the remainder section. An entry section is part of the process which decides the entry of a particular process. Only one process is allowed to enter the critical section and modify the shared variable. Exit section allows the other processes that are waiting in the entry section to enter into the critical section. It also checks that a process that finished its execution should be removed through this section. In the remainder section, we have all the other parts of the code, which is not in the critical entry and exit section. The variables in the remainder section are not shared among the processes. The critical section problem is to design a protocol that the processes can use to cooperate. Each process must request permission to enter its critical section. The section of code implementing this request is the entry section. The general structure of process BI that shares variables with the other processes is as follows. We may have here remainder section. This part of code can be executed anytime without synchronization and need not to be synchronized with other processes. We may have here critical section, another remainder section, a critical section again, etc. If any process, for example, process two, is executing in one of its critical sections, then no other process in the set of cooperating processes is allowed to enter its critical section. For example, if process one wishes to enter its critical section here, then it should not be allowed and it should wait until process two leaves its critical section. So no two processes can execute in their critical sections at the same time. Any solution to the critical section problem must satisfy the following three requirements. Mutual exclusion, if a process BI is executing in its critical section, then no other processes can be executing in their critical sections. The second requirement is progress. If no process is executing in its critical section and some processes wish to enter their critical sections, then only those processes that are not executing in their remainder sections can participate in deciding which will enter its critical section next. And the third requirement is pounded waiting. There exists a pound or limit on the number of times that other processes are allowed to enter their critical sections after a process has made a request to enter its critical section and before that request is granted. To explain the last two requirements, suppose that we have 20 cooperating processes, B0 through B19, and the processes B1, 
B3, B5, B11 are waiting to enter the rectal section. In the decision, which one is allowed to enter next its critical section should participate only these processes B1, B3, B5, B11. In this decision, the processes B0, B2, etc., B19 should not participate. And this is the progress requirement. In the decision, which process is allowed to enter its critical section next should participate only the processes waiting to enter their critical section. Other processes executing in their remainder sections are not allowed to participate in this decision. And to explain the second requirement, bounded weight, suppose that processes B1, B2, B5, B9, B11 are waiting to enter their critical sections. According to some policy, we picked first P1, after that B2, after that B9. But during this time, B1 again requested to enter its critical section and B2. After B9, suppose that B1 is allowed to enter its critical section and again B2, and suppose B1 is requesting again, and it's allowed, so there is some kind of starvation regarding process B5. So the requirement, bounded weight, says that any process is allowed to enter its critical section a certain number of times, for example, three times or two times, while some process is waiting to enter its critical section and its request is not granted, as the case for B5 in this example. Next, we move to Peterson's solution. Peterson's solution requires the two processes to share two data items, integer chain and Boolean flag of two elements. The variable chain indicates whose chain it is to enter its critical section. That's if chain equal i, then process bi is allowed to execute in its critical section. Peterson solution works for two processes, so we can use process 0 and 1, but in the textbook and here we will use i and j for the two processes. The flag array is used to indicate if a process is ready to enter its critical section. For example, if a flag i is true, this value indicates that bi is ready to enter its critical section. Or you can consider it as follows. If a process bi wishes to enter its critical section, then we have to set its flag i to true. This is the code for process BI. To enter the critical section, process BI sets flag I to be true, and then sets turn to the value J, thereby asserting that if the other process wishes to enter the critical section, it can do so. Next, if the condition flag J and with turn equals J, is false, then process I is allowed to enter its critical section. Otherwise, if the condition is true, then the process I should wait, and it is not allowed to enter its critical section. On the exit from the critical section, process BI sets its flag to false, allowing other processes to enter their critical sections. To explain how Peterson solution works for two processes, here we have the code for process BI and the code for process BJ. And we will consider several cases. First, suppose that process BI wishes to enter a critical section and the process J 
is executing in its remainder section. Process I sets flag I to true and sets TN to J. Flag J is false since process J is not willing to enter its critical section. Since plug J is false, false and true, false, so process BI is allowed to enter critical section. Suppose while process I is executing in its critical section, process J wishes to enter its critical section. So plug J is set to true, TN is set to I. So the condition here will be true. And this means that the process J is not allowed to enter its critical section and it should wait. After completing from the critical section, process BI sets plug I to false. So here we'll have false, which means that the condition here will be false and the process J is now allowed to enter its critical section. As you see, each process after completing with the critical section sets its flag to false, allowing the other process to enter the critical section. And quickly in the same manner, suppose that process J is in its critical section, and this happens because TN was I, and the plug J was true, and the plug I was false. And suppose while process J is in its critical section, process I wishes to enter its critical section. It sets plug I to true and TN to J. The condition here, plug J true and TN equal J true. So the whole condition is true and the process I should wait and is not allowed to enter its critical section. And again, after process BJ completes from its critical section, it sets plug J to false here. So this condition becomes false and now process I is allowed to enter its critical section. And one more case, suppose that the two processes attempts at the same time to enter their critical sections. So plug I is set to true and plug J is set to true. 10 equals J and 10 equals I. 10 is one variable and it will take only one value, I or J, depending on the order this instruction is executed in processes BI and BJ. So 10 can be either I or J. If 10 was set to I, then process BI enters its critical section, and if 10 was set to J, then process BJ enters its critical section. Both processes cannot enter their critical sections at the same time. Only one process can enter its critical section and the second process should wait. Peterson solution preserves all the three conditions. Mutual exclusion is assured as only one process can access the critical section at any time. Progress is also assured as a process outside the critical section does not block other processes from entering the critical section. Bounded waiting is preserved as if the process gets a fair chance. However, Peterson solution has the following two disadvantages. It involves busy waiting. It is limited to two processes. For today, that's all. Thank you.